Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I am here with a project for I Am Roses as well as a surprise goodie for one of my friends. I'm so excited for her to get this. Um, it is loaded with I Am Roses. Um, so I used Le Romantique um, Prima paper collection, but I also used a bunch of different papers in here that would coordinate. Sorry about my fingers being red. Um, the last page is a red and green and cream colored, so I got my hands in there. Um, so I bound, this is a Teddy Boo Teapot me, um, album. I bound it with my duct tape method that I use, um, so you can't see it, but then I just added some lace and some bows. Um, on the binding just so it'd be all cute and frilly. Added a ton of I Am Roses. Gardenias, R77 Roses. These are some of my favorite. I just love the cream and, and pink and red. Um, some cherry blossoms. Um, just a lot of goodies. Some leaves. And then I have some bloomers trim on the side here. Some flat back pearls. And then some beautiful Carla 001 uh, trim here. And then I stamped right here, if you can see. And it says, Friendship, like tea, grows stronger with time. And there's a little teacup. And this is a Lindy Stamp Gang stamp. And all the Lindy Stamp Gang stamps are hand-drawn by um, Lindy. Okay. So I'm going to open it, and hopefully we can get everything in the shot pretty close. Okay, so this page has a photo mat, a beautiful gardenia, semi-open rose, a hydrangea, and a, a small crocheted flower, and some mini roses. And I will have links to all the flowers, and they will go by pages. So the cover, and then I'll list the item numbers and have the links, and then we'll do pages um, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, and so on. Um, over here, some more mini crocheted flowers, and then this was a flower I made with some Carla 001 trim that I'm in love with. I just love it. It's also um, on the bottom here, across. And then I use some Carla 001 trim here. Here's some small um, light yellow hydrangea petals, and then here's a frame that is open at the top, so sh my, my friend can slide something down in there for a photo. And then I just put this on the tip. Um, the teapot die is a little bigger than six inches, so if you're using a six inch paper pad, you kind of have to make up the difference when you put your paper down to trace it. And so it left a little bit off on this side and a little bit off on that side, which turned out okay because I just adorned the edges in the teapot um, tip with beautiful things. But you can also just have it all the way on one side and then, you know, or use eight by eight papers or 12 by 12. It worked out fine. It was easy. I loved working with this album. Just so much fun um, to have so much space to work with. Um, this is definitely not a mini album. This is an album. Um, so here is a Melissa Francis beautiful flower I purchased from Your Scrapbook Supply, which is where I've been getting a lot of my supplies lately. Um, i seen a haul vid from Drew um, Scott in... I went there and I've been hooked ever since. So here's a beautiful frame, a Michaels frame. And the way I did this, I put a hinge here and I glued this lace down. And there's a little loop here you can pull up on and some uh, Velcro. So she, all she has to do to put her photo in here is pop this down like that. It opens, add your photo, close it, and then if she ever wants to change it, she's got that loop. And then there's a Recollections Butterfly. Some beautiful I Am Roses petals. These are colored by them. This is how they come. The beautiful variegated uh, light or blue down to light blue. <clears throat> Some recollections bling. And then I made a flip out. This is what I call them flip outs. I don't know. Fold out, flip out. Um, some beautiful Carlos trim here and some more uh, Cynthia Lou or Rena bling, sorry. And then some beautiful lace in the background that I colored with Wendy Stamp Gang. So this flips up. This flips down. This one flips up, then it flips over, and then another flip. So all that room for photos. Or journaling, whatever she wants to do with it. It's her choice. And then over on the teapot here, I just um, used some Rena Bling in silver or white. I don't, really, I don't know if that's silver or white. And then I used a Spellbinders mat and some beautiful little uh, blossoms um, from I Am Roses. And then the next page is the pink page. Of course, this is my favorite. Um, and I have some Carlos trim at the bottom, some beautiful I Am Roses crocheted flowers, 
Now on this page, this has a pen that just Velcros right here, and here is the pen, and this pen is a little sticky, so if the person that is receiving this gets this, this is what you have to do. You have to push really hard down, and then push it down on a surface to engage it. And then to close it, push down, and over time it will it'll start working. It's just a little tight. Um, so this pops open, and then this whole book slides out. And she can journal, put photos. This is the Kane Company cut and paste paper um, collection. Um, and here is Spring Blossom from Kane Company. I love Kane Company papers because they're double sided and you can use them for so many things. So, anyway, there's just a book that slides right back. All I did was put um, all I did was put a little strip of the same paper, and this paper is another Can Company stack, but not from the same one. I think it's Madeline or something. Um, and then that Velcro's back down, and then the pen just goes right back in place there. Beautiful Melissa Francis flower I received from Amy, who is my teddy boo. Um, and this album I got from Tammy, my secret sister. Um, squirrel sister and um, Amy my teddy boo was sweet enough to send me some extra teapots for the album so thank you so much Amy and thank you so much Tammy um, so this is just a little pocket I made and I embossed it and then put a couple tags in and the little uh, teacup on the side I used some Carla 001 uh, mini flat back pearls and then just a little recollection bling recollection bling recollection bling and this is some bling I got from Tammy in my secret squirrel package. Um, purple and blue side. I love purple and blue together. I just think it's such a gorgeous combination. Um, I have an I Am Roses spray. This was a pink one. And I just sprayed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang. And then this butterfly, um, I'll have the item number for this too. They're variegated. So it, um, I think it went from pink down to like a creamy yellow, then to a green. So when I sprayed it, it still kept that variegated color, but with um, the color that, you know, it just variegated the color that I sprayed it. So it just turned out gorgeous. Carla 001 um, purple spray, leaf spray here. Um, and then this is a Recollections flower with a beautiful I Am Roses that I sprayed with the same Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, and here's a frame, and I used some Lindy Stamp Gang two-toned embossing powder. It was just gorgeous. went perfect. And then here's a little frame, um, acetate frame, that's open at the top. Um, a Carla 001 purple um, crystal flower. Um, and then some more I Am Roses, gorgeous I Am Roses. And just a couple more sprays, and then this is a tag that pulls out. has a cute little butterfly on it. It was like a hair clip, and I just popped the clip off, and then there's another little tag for her. And it just slides back just like that. And then this paper was um, in, what was this one in? This was in watercolor. Okay, these last two pages, gorgeous. This is the Le Romantique Prima collection. Um, this die cut is one from Lindy Stamp Gang, and I just used a two-tone embossing powder on that. There's a couple of mats here. She can journal or put photos on. And they just slide right back in there. And then I just made a little like Victorian fan and adorned it with some beautiful um, lace trim that I got from Becca Boo and the handle as well. There's a little tag. She can put whatever she wants back here, but I like to put stuff back there just so they know that something goes there. <laughs> a little birdcage to die, and I think this is a Kaiser Craft and this, and then a beautiful Carla 001 butterfly, another R77 rose, and some leaves. And that completes the mini album. There's the back. And then it just has this little strap, which Velcros right there and holds it all together nice and neat. There's the top. I had so much fun working with this album. Um, it was a blast, and I can't wait to do another one. Um, she has so many different styles, so I'm going to have to look into it. Um, make sure to check in the description for all the links and all the I Am Roses products. Um, this album would not be this album without the I Am Roses. So check out I Am Roses. Thanks for watching. Bye.